I'm Dan Ackerman, and we are here taking a look at the HP Pavilion Sleekbook Touch Smart 15Z. You can juggle all those different terms around any way you want. It basically tells you that this is a member of HP's Pavilion line, which is their kind of mainstream to budget line. It's also a sleek book, which means it's thin, kind of like what you hear about uh, being called an Ultrabook, except for this is an AMD system, not an Intel one. And of course, Intel owns that Ultrabook name. So when you have something that's kind of like an Ultrabook, people come up with their own terms for it. In this case, it's sleek book, which is a little bit awkward. Also called a touch smart because it has, ta-da, a touch screen. Uh, and the 15Z because it's a 15 inch laptop and the Z because it has a thin Z axis, I suppose. You put all that together and you actually get something that is more impressive than the sum of its many names. You get a fairly thin, uh, fairly usable uh, touchscreen 15 inch laptop that starts at $650. Now we've seen some inexpensive touchscreen Windows 8 laptops already uh, for about that price. They tend to be a little thicker, a little chunkier. Uh, this guy is actually really enviably thin. Uh, I like that a lot. And unlike a lot of those other systems that use uh, Intel CPUs that have Intel's uh, built in HD 4000 graphics, AMD combines a CPU and a basic slightly better than discrete GPU. Uh, to, to form kind of one whole, so you get slightly better graphics for playing games than you would from a comparable Intel-powered budget system. Now, how much better? Uh, I ran one game test on here and on an HD 4000 system. It got about 10 frames per second, which is not great. On here, it got 15 frames per second. Uh, this is all at the native resolution of 1366 by 768, which is, again, not great, but it's 50% uh, better. So if you turn down the, you know, the settings and you play some older games, then you can actually do a little bit of gaming on this guy, which is not something you can usually do on a $600 laptop. Now, of course, you have to keep in mind uh, that price does have some consequences. This is made of plastic and kind of glossy plastic at that, so it's not the fanciest looking laptop out there. Uh, budget laptops always have kind of some flex in the middle of the keyboard, which I'm not a big fan of, and a touchpad, which is not as sensitive as it should be. Uh, probably the biggest drawback here is the battery. Uh, only lasted about three and a half hours, uh, which is certainly less than you would expect from a thin, highly portable Ultrabook style 15 inch, because you really want to take this with you uh, all day long. Uh, but if you keep in mind that it is $650 for a touchscreen Windows 8 laptop that uh, is going to pretty much do anything you want to do in terms of web surfing and social media and email uh, in a thinner package than pretty much anybody else has at this price, then it is definitely worth a look. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is the HP Pavilion Touch Smart Sleekbook 15Z. I think that's all.